Tickets coming up before three. It's as simple as calling us when you hear that cue to call. We could be sending you down the Gold Coast as a reward. All thanks to our sponsors at Hot 91.1. We've got to play to you uh, some great stuff in just a moment from James Blunt, Red Hot Chili Peppers, and this is Train, a soul sister of Hot 91.1. On Hot 91.1, we play the Sunshine Coast hottest music. It's Bevo with you this afternoon, joined by the lovely couple known as Jaden and Tara. Now, they're the, uh, what they call the Australian tourists. They have set up a website and in 2011 are going to travel Australia and basically document everything they do. Uh, Jaden is a videographer. Tara is a photographer. Both are married. They're together and they're going to be travelling Australia, documenting their travels as they go. So... Jaden, welcome to Hot 91. Thank you very much, Bebe. And Tara, welcome to Hot 91.1. Thanks a lot. Um, you've been married for four years now. Obviously, the relationship's going well, and yes. you're going to <laughs> go on the road together. Is this going to be a, a test to the relationship, do you think? Well, we've travelled quite a lot uh, more overseas, so I thought it's finally time to stay back in Australia and see what this beautiful country's got to offer. So I think we've had our tests over there. We've passed, so we'll see how it goes. Now, you both work in the wedding industry. So, Tara, you do uh, wedding photography, um, some amazing images I've already seen that you've put up already. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, when it comes to tourism photography, what sort of things do you look for when you're actually out and about and filming? Uh, probably more so got to do with light and uh, people, what's going on, activities and, yeah, but basically it's all about light. I think there'll be a lot of, lot, a lot of early mornings happening. Have you done a, a few travel uh, destinations internationally yourself? Have you been overseas? Yeah, done a bit of Thailand, Egypt, uh, South Africa with all the wildlife. So that's another another side of photography in itself. And, yeah, it's uh, pretty amazing. So your contribution to the website, you aim to have a photo a day up yeah. on the website. <laughs> Thanks to Jaden. Um, but um, I said, oh, I don't know how I'm going to, you know, when we're out on the road, how are we going to be able, you know, able to upload when we're travelling? And so he's like, oh, I guess when you come back after a week or two, you can just upload the seven. And I was like, okay, I could do that. Nice so, work. So, yeah, it'll just be... Let me get stuck, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jaden's the cinematographer and you do weddings on the weekends, but you're also... Yep. I've seen some of your work. It's absolutely breathtaking. Now, you're just telling me that the, the trend with video at the moment is... Not so much with video cameras, but digital SLRs, the, the quality is just incomparable, I guess you could say. Yeah, that's right. We're shooting. It's, it's pretty interesting because I'm shooting pretty much almost the same camera as, um, as what Tara's using and the bride and grooms and different people who shoot ask, uh, are you taking video or still? So it gets a bit interesting there, but it's great also because it means we can sort of sneak in there a bit more unknown and get the shots we want, make it more natural. So it's great for us. Absolutely. And have you been watching a lot of TV lifestyle so shows like uh, Getaway and Great Outdoors and all that sort of stuff to get your hosting skills up to speed? Yeah, we're sort of comparing the sort of YouTube different bits and pieces with the... Um, with what you know, the networks have got as well. So it's great to sort of find out what they're doing and to sort of make it our own and, and do um, just you know, make sure we've got high quality so people watch it and go, oh, wow, I want to travel there. And that's the whole idea of it, really. So the itinerary kicks off in January next year. What sort of destinations do you have under the... Yeah, well, the, the wraps at the moment. The first one that kicks off, um, we're going up to uh, northern Queensland and travelling doing the Cape and that. So it's, it's very interesting because that one's very remote. Um, I'm glad it's one of the first places we're going to go to because it's one of those areas you need a four wheel drive and it's a tricky place, not just like on the Sunshine Coast. You can just grab a car, drive up to the hinterland, drive to the beach. You've really got to make sure you're prepared with that. So that's going to be a really fun one. Um, also heading down the Great Ocean Road and doing the uh, 12 Apostles there um, and then just all over, making sure we hit every single state along the way. And I notice um, your, your aim is sort of to meet locals on the way and, and get their local perspective on their local area and find those spots that not necessarily everyone knows about. Yeah, exactly. Like it's it's a website designed for tourists. We want to show tourists what this country's got to offer. Um, and yeah, we just want to sort of get rather than me hosting and interviewing the whole way, we want to get different people, you know, locals or travellers to sort of tell us what it's about and pretty much, I guess, narrate each um, each destination. 
Now, you're both based on the Sunshine Coast. How long have you guys been here? Um, I've lived here my whole life. Um, um, I've been here for about 11 years, and coming from Canberra, uh, nothing beats it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the weather is uh, ideal at the moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sunny coast, rainy coast, whatever coast. Let's see how long that lasts. Yeah. Now, Jaden, being on the coast for so long, what's your favourite part of the coast? Um, I'm definitely sort of just love the beaches and that sort of stuff. So everything from Point Cartwright down Caloundra River Mouth, just love when it sort of clears up and you get those really crystal clear waters. Um, going out sailing, diving, just anything in the water is great for me. Tara? Um, I would have to say very much the same because he's kind of made me go that way. But um, <laughs> no, I think Point Cartwright's probably definitely one of my favourites. Um, one of the t- one time we've been up there and the, I don't know if you've ever been up there on a full moon, it's just like the moon rises out of the water and you've got the sunset going over the Glasshouse Mountains and it's just like you just in an, in an element of its own. It's just amazing up there. And what about when it comes to wedding locations for photo shoots and that sort of thing? Is there any gems that you always sort of like to head towards? To, They're to do a bit that? of a secret, actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Well, just, hidden places. <laughs> we'll just beep this one out, okay? And, uh, this won't go to air at all. All right, guys. Well, thanks for dropping in. The Australian tourist, Jaden and Tara, are backpacking all the way around Australia. Well, not really backpacking. You just sort of... Bits of everything. Yeah, yeah. a bit of backpacking, a bit of hitchhiking. Bit um, of flying. <laughs> flying. How we can get there? <laughs> hiring a four drive, all that sort of thing. Um, tell us more about the website, which we're talking about, where we can actually find all this amazing information and, and daily blogs and so forth. Yes, yeah, so we've got a few different bits of media. Um, the website's just www.theaustraliantourist.com. Um, that will have a blog running, plus that's where you can find your one video per week and one photo per day. Uh, we're also on Facebook, so you can search us on there, um, the, you know, Australian Tourist, or um, you can type, I think your, the email is theaustraliantourist at gmail.com. Um, also find us on Twitter and a few other bits and pieces, um, like Vimeo and YouTube and that kind of stuff as well. So Great. So, we're everywhere. <laughs> thanks for coming in, guys, and uh, thanks for the chat. Excellent. Thanks for having us here. Thanks a lot.